Nathan, first day of Origin camp, mate. Must be nice to get in a representative camp and be alongside some superstars of the game. Yeah, um, you know, it's obviously a great squad here um, that we've got here at the Blues. And, yeah, it's a great opportunity and, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You came to the Centre of Excellence at the back end of last year as part of Brad Fittler's extended squad. Was there anything that you took away from Brad Fittler or just from the camp itself when you came in? Um, yeah, obviously just a, a team mentality first and, um, you know, just you know, that work, work ethic and um, work hard for that bloke beside you. And, um, yeah, that just comes out of um, yeah, the Blues mentality, I guess, yeah. The 2020 season was obviously a different one for many reasons. Was there anything that you learned about yourself as a player or a person that helped you hit the form that you did in 2020? Um, you know, I'm just, just to be grateful of, um, you know, you just, you're just living a, a childhood dream and um, yeah, you wake up every day um, yeah, f feeling grateful. And, um, yeah, it's, that, that's probably why, um, yeah, what got me through. You received a lot of compliments this year for the way you play the game. You're quite fearless when you make a tackle or when you take a run. Uh, what motivates you week to week, mate? Is there anything in particular that um, really drives you to be the player that you are at the moment? Yeah, obviously family is the, the number one, but um, yeah, it's just the, the love of the game and um, just, to, just to go out there and, and enjoy. And um, yeah, yeah, so I just uh, yeah, I love playing rugby league and yeah. You mentioned you love playing rugby league. The last time I think your representative New South Wales, though, was an under-17s cricket team, if I'm not mistaken. Must be nice to maybe return to a sky blue jumper, but this time for a different sport. <laughs> yeah, it would be good. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, um, yeah, hopefully I can. And, um, yeah. Just lastly, got to ask you about that phone call when you received uh, from Brad Fittler. Talk to me in detail about where you were, the emotions that you felt then when you uh, got told that you're going to be part of camp. Um, yeah, I was driving to um, the, the review, um, the show after the game in the morning and um, yeah, obviously very disappointed um, driving to training and then um, yeah, it was a bit of mixed emotions, obviously getting a call from, from Freddie, which is, you know, just obviously lost the semi-final the night before, so yeah, it's pretty devastating, but yeah, I got the phone call from Freddie on, on the way and um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was an amazing phone call and um, yeah, I couldn't wait to just um, yeah, tell, tell my family. Lastly, mate, is there one thing that you're looking to take out of this camp in particular, uh, working alongside some locks like Jake Draboyevich and Cameron Murray? Um, you could probably teach them a few things. Likewise, they can teach the, uh, you a few things. Is there one thing that you're looking to get out of this camp? Um, yeah, just obviously just go out there with um, no expectations and just go out there and, and enjoy. I think that's um, the main thing, to go out there and, and enjoy myself, um, enjoy the opportunity. and um, yeah. Best of luck.